All right, take two. No smiling, no laughing. Shave the beards, take the hats off. No sunglasses, no fun at all. Done. Stay tuned for the action. Anything to say? No. Apparently we're going to use our Cardos. Yeah. For we're testing out Cardos today for in-car communication. Or well, and more than car. that. Because in, it's super obvious, it's awesome to spot with these things because, why? They're wireless. So you just step out, talk to whoever's going. Yeah, they're, they're good for us because we can film and, and uh, spot at the same time. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome so far. Cool. Let's go. So maybe the hardest part of the hot tub if you guys can hear me, is actually getting down into it, especially for a, a four-seater. Go down this pretty steep, you don't have a lot of room to turn. So if you watch Royce here, basically right when he gets to the bottom, he's kind of making the turn right there. So Royce is also feeling left out because he doesn't have as pointy of a beard as me or Ryan. Right, Royce? If you guys didn't see that, that was an affirmative. Oh, sorry. Boom. Yeah, see, the hardest part is just getting down into it. Still fun, though. Got the old KRX back from Voodoo. You can go down right there. A little driver. Little driver. Yeah, I got it. Little driver. Yeah, right there. Straight down. Yeah, these Cardos are sweet because I can just talk normal and not yell at him. So, so far, Ryan is not loving these tires. Should we still have the tires that you've got on there, dude? So, BFG, BFG mud terrains right there. Yeah. So, you gotta go like 15% harder than you would with a Rockzilla, I think, with these. Just the... Just that initial, it doesn't feel good because it kind of yeah. gets a little bouncy, but... And they only have like seven pounds in them, you said. Yeah, they're super low. They're just a stiff they, tire. They just and, don't squish. No. I'm like, look at that. Seven pounds. pounds. Good. Yeah, so... And then also, if you guys can see, that's just rounded. The, the actual patch of driving is just less than uh, than the Zilla or some other sticky type of tires. They're still new as tires. well. Yeah. They are. I mean, flying across the desert, these things would be awesome. Oh, for sure. But for rocks, I mean, the jury's still out on them. They get the job done, but it's not optimal. Right. Yeah. Yep. Still does good in it. KRX does good in anything, apparently. I love this car. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So right after the hot tub, you just kind of make a left, and immediately you come to this climb right here. It's pretty steep. Not too difficult, but there's basically two ways to do it. It's hard to go right down the middle. So Royce is going to show kind of hugging the left line actually and the last time we did it I actually had to hug the right side and I don't remember what uh, Ryan did in the KRX but uh, um, so we'll kind of show both hey I'm preaching here all right Man, that was so smooth. That was, this is weird. This is weird. Should we just stay this way? Let's just stay this way. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> he made that look pretty easy though. That was super easy. Yeah, it's not that easy. I don't think I'm gonna get that like that. Did you go up left side or right side last time? Middle? Did you? I think so, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well. Your wheelbase is a little bit different, right? Yeah, it is. All right, well, you're up. Choose your own adventure. Yep. So dude, the least you could do huh? is make it look as hard as it actually is. Once you know the line, you just hop on and you're along for the ride. No, that's very true. That was super smooth. Good work, dude. That's not gonna do it. Back her on up. Yeah, that was it. I 
I felt it, I just stopped. Yeah. You're right. Good game. There it is. That slight driver turn at the top helped him hook his tire and it go. It did. Yeah, it did. That's it good. looked pretty good. You're going to take the left line or the right today? Well, the left line didn't work very good yesterday. Yeah, let's hit the right then. All right. A farther uh, passenger. And then turn into it. Back down slow. It freaking gets me. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I staying far enough right or am I, what am I doing? Yeah, don't turn until you crest over. Okay. Your, your turn and driver, right when you get to the top, you can't. I am. Because then that's what's making you fall down in the crack and get bellied out. Okay. Is my line good though? Yeah. Stay straight longer. Okay. There it is. There it is. Finally. Finally. That's good, man. Jeez. It's a weird one. All right, so. We're at this obstacle. Ryan's climbed up top. Royce is going first. And uh, what I'll show you is you don't want to go too far past Gerge because that little lip at the top gets pretty steep. Uh, steep. So. so you make just a little bit of a driver turn at the top and then go up. So you stay driver at the top. You can you just kind of stay driver, keep turning that way. You get on top of a plateau and then you just drop off the other side. Where else do you get this? Five minutes from your house. Doesn't even look like anybody's even close to being around here. It's weird, but cool. Yeah, so we bypassed this one on the KRX. Yeah, it's way too steep. Maybe with some rock tires and if it was our own, we'd, we'd attempt it, but uh, since yeah. it's not bowing out she's gonna stay down there respectfully she's gonna stay down there <laughs> that's the line hit it harder yeah <laughs> hey had to pull a little save out of your booty there i was i was seeing seeing if i could still do a turrets wheelie he got it. Apparently, I still got it. Nailed it. <laughs> cool. Good yeah. job. Thanks, man. So this is where we're at. Wall of Doom. Wall of Doom. I don't know what there is to say about this one, other than fail, 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 fail. Well, at least in that thing. Yeah. Anyway. So we came out last time yesterday. Finally got the KRX over it, but it took a it was dozen tries. Yeah, definitely uncomfortable. So, yeah, the KRX has a weird thing with the clutch. Um, it, it doesn't let go when you're going in forward gear like a razor you let off and you can just roll straight back just fast no hesitation right. and these yeah. it, it wants to stay there until it gets below a certain number of rpms and then it'll release and let you roll right. back yeah so you get up there and it's like rrr, 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 and it bounces up and then it'll stop once you let yeah. off and then you're like oh shoot what am i doing and then it'll get below certain rpms or a certain i think it's it holds for a couple RPMs, seconds yeah. at least and it's not a fun thing and then it'll, it'll let you roll back out. Yeah. It's not even fun to watch, to be honest. It's really not. It's really not. <laughs> so, gated shifters and must these. Oh, yeah. The Viper would if be super we ever get one, we're putting a Viper in it, for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. 100%. Yeah. Who's first, me? Yeah, you're kind closest. Of yeah, yeah, you are.
Yeah, he is. There's only one one animal out here with white hair. My attack dog. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the last obstacle of the night. This is uh, Kentucky Boy Draw. And this might have other names, but we know it by Hank's Hill. Don't know who Hank was, but he must have been crazy. For sure. Because I think he was the first one to really do it. So you love vertical stuff. You're I, good at vertical stuff. How do you feel about this one? I did it for the first time last night. <laughs> so it's taken me like <laughs> so that's, 30 plus years to work up to that one. So that just shows you, right? Yeah. It's pretty nasty. So now that my Rockzillas are in their absolute prime, yeah, that gave me the confidence last night to go for it. You stuck pretty good. It's uh, it's one of those things you have to be really comfortable in your car. Even though it looked really smooth and easy going up, if you had one little hesitation, you get off the line or, or hit the brakes at the wrong spot, it can get really nasty really quick. Bad so, news, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's 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 straight. You don't have to necessarily turn. It's all about controlling the throttle and just keeping it moving on the correct line. All right, well, I'm going to watch because I'm not doing it. Well, my gas, my gas light's flashing. That would suck if that was the time when it gas went out. <laughs> So is my is my fuel pump at the back or the front of the tank? I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. Don't worry, those yeah. will catch you. Yeah. Whoa. What's that? Gas lights now at 16%. <laughs> <laughs> Look up in the back. Apparently. It goes straight, straight vertical. Never run out of gas. Yeah. Okay, so you guys aren't doing that, right? No. Okay, I'm going to guide them through Kentucky Boy Draw. There's a couple tricky spots to this one. Yeah, so basically what you do to start Kentucky Boy Draw is just straddle that, go up. You don't need to, I mean, you can crawl that, Yeah. right? Yeah. The hardest part is up at the top making a turn, and when we get up there, Royce will kind of show that. Yeah, so if you're in here, this is how you would get out if you don't want to do Hanks Hill or Kentucky Boy Drive. Okay, so the whole difficulty of this obstacle is that hole right there. Your back passenger side has to be in it. So he's gonna have to start turning to the turn into the driver. This way. Yeah, that's it. You want that front tire to dip into that. Going straight, straight, straight. Turn harder. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, pretty good. Now turn this way. Slow, slow down, slow down. Because you're going to dip way this way. There you go. Nice. So this should be quite a bit easier for the KRX. So come all the way up to this rock. Yep, right. Yep, stay straight. Okay. Now turn. See that back tire is barely hanging on there. Yeah, the length, the short length is an advantage on those twisty, turny ones with the holes. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so we just made a stupid TikTok. Let's see it. Ryan's sunset shot was epic. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Balser's key. Oh, it is key. Hey, what are you doing? I'm putting my whips on, dude. Oh, it's getting dark out. It's getting dark, and I haven't like I've tested these like in the neighborhood and stuff, but I haven't driven with them out here. Uh, and uh, anyway, Rhino light whips, but check out the bases. <laughs> so when you do stupid crap like drive into your garage, like I do with these things on, you're good. Good to go. Your right wife there. doesn't even kick your butt. Nope. I like it. So we're going to try these out. I've got cool. the, uh, the Renolite rock lights as well. I've got a six pod. So I've got two in the front, one in the back on each side. Well, let's wait for it to get a little darker and we'll just do them all. Yeah, we're going to test it out. All right, I like it. We're going to have some fun with the, with the rock lights. Cool.